Gull, come here. Gull. Yes, aunt. Where is the salad? You know it very well that Moise loves salad a lot. Yes, I forgot to put it. I will bring it. I asked her to do only one thing, the whole day, please set the table for the dinner. But she was not able to do even this thing. I do not know, how will she stop being idle? Please show your love and subscribe to our channel. Wait. You should serve, Moise. No, aunt, thank you. Well, I will take it. It is okay. Thank you. Mum. If you give permission, can I go for outing with Moise? Yes, why not, dear? You do not need permission. Moise is our son now. What plans are being made here? I will also go with both of you. Why will you go with us? The third wheel. What do you mean? You also used to go everywhere with Gul Noor and Moise. Komal. Please think before speaking. Why are you mentioning it now? All right, mum, but please. I also want to go with them. Please, mum. Not at all. Mum, she is becoming manless. Less than you. You were exactly like this. Komal, there is nothing to fight. Kanwal. Komal will go with us. Thank you, brother Moise. Let me go and change. Mum, let me go and change as well. She spent all the day and made these things for you. But she's not eating it, in the happiness to go with you. Yes. Well, you can eat your food. Let me go and order green tea for you. Green tea. Carnwall is coming. Listen. When I was your fiancé, you never served me tea like this. Conditions have changed. What you do not have you want. You are right. Conditions have changed. There was time. When you used to go out with me. Today it is Canwall. You must feel something. There is nothing like this. But I do feel surprised. On you changing colors so soon. Yes. Canwall's love has changed me. If you will give me this love, I will come back to you. I can give you back the ring with my name. Do you think it is a joke to wear and take off the ring? Now I have taken off the ring with your name and it is final. But I am happy that I do not have any regrets. You are really very egoistic. Not egoistic. With dignity. I am my parents' daughter with dignity. Whom did you go on? No. What were you talking? Go. what did you say to him? You should leave me. And handle Moise. What if he goes out of your control? What did she say? Leave it. She is upset to see us together. Leave it now. Let's go.
Greetings. Greetings to you too. How are you? I am alive. Can you please talk to your dad? Properly or not? I thought, maybe if I give you space, you may realize the importance of relationships. But what is this? You did not even turn back to ask. If you have anything to talk then say it. The important thing is that I was missing you. I thought of talking to you. You did not talk to me when you lived here. But now I miss you a lot here and I feel empty without you. Only because of me. You do not miss mom. You are a reminder of mayor for me. I want to stay connected with you. Maybe you forgot your mother's will. She wanted both of us to stay connected forever. All right, if that is the case, you can call me whenever you want. Thank God. You have at last listened to your dad. I did not listen to dad. I listened to mom. I have something important to do. I will talk to you later. Bye. All right. What is this? You cut the call. You did not talk about the real thing. I will talk. Why are you in a hurry? Let his tone become better with me. Sometimes I feel as if you have left me alone and now stand with my dad. No, dear, listen to me. What I really want is, all three of us should become one and stay as one. But what will happen if I or you want it? No, dear. Both of us can stand together and try to make him ours to be with us. Come, come. Come. Mr. Lawyer, please, sit down. I will go and call Sir Mushtag. Who came? Mr. Lawyer came. He has important work with him. Sir Hassan Malik? No, number. He is Ma Mayor's lawyer. Sir Nadim Zaffer. Oh, now I know. He is Mayor's lawyer. Yes, he is. Can I leave? Yes, you can go. Send Sir downstairs. Let me see him. Okay, all right. Greetings. Greetings to you too. Please, sit. Mushtak is coming. Do you have anything important? You can talk to me too. And you are? I am Mrs. Mushtak. What? Yes. On what matter do you want to talk to Mushtak? When Mr. Mushtak comes, we can discuss it then. Maybe you did not hear. I am Mrs. Mushtak. You can talk to me too about anything. So you came. When did you return from your trip? How are you? Sit down. I just came back yesterday. I thought to come at your place and offer my condolence for Mar Mare. But now it seems that instead of condolence, I should congratulate you. After Mare's death, I was in severe depression. And she Taranam is the one who took me out of that depression. Otherwise, hell had broken loose on me after that. Yes, yes. It seems so. I can see how big hell broke loose on you. Yes, it is true. This is the law. One who comes has to go. Did you come to talk about something important? Yes. Call Mr. Aban. I will talk in front of him. Why is that? What is the matter? You can talk to me. According to Mar Mayor's will, it is important that both of you are present. What will? What sort of will? 
Please, listen. A barn has gone to America for studies. You can, tell me, I will convey it. I see. Then we can wait for Mr. Aban to return. What is in the will, Mr. Lawyer? That you are not willing to tell me about it. I am his father and, and Mare was my wife. I want to know, what was my wife's will? And I am Ma'am Mare's lawyer. I am responsible for her will. My profession does not allow me to do any discrepancy. I will now meet you, when, Mr. Aban will return. Greetings to you. Mushtak, is this house and factory in your name? Now please, do not be late in making a barn sign the papers. Yes, a barn. Thank God you picked up the call. I have been calling you. I thought, maybe you are angry with me. Is there any reason for us to be angry with each other? Anyways, what is going on? How are things going? I am happy. I am content. After mom's death, it was as if I fell inside a dark well. Maybe I found my way. I go to the university. I am working on my thesis, and I attend the classes. There is no time to think of someone or to feel bad about things. Well, this is a good thing. Mom was also very worried for you. How is Aunt Kalida? I also miss her a lot. Well, she is doing good. How is my dad? Does he meet you? Where is he busy nowadays? To be honest, I did not meet him. I have been quite busy myself. Yes, but dad does meet him randomly. I am sure he is quite happy. Really? Yes. Anyway. How is Ghoul? She is fine. You did not talk to her. Yes, I did talk to her, but I got busy after that. Now that I am calling her, she is not picking up. Moise, listen. Do you take care of her? Aban, when are you coming back? My two semesters have finished. I will come at the end of the next month. I will stay but then come back again. Well, I am glad that you have settled there. No, I am not. I am trying my best. Someone took a promise from me. That even if I am not happy, but at least I would try to seem happy here. I see, really, so promises are being kept. Listen, Aban, I am actually a little busy. I will talk to you later. Okay, goodbye. Dear, were you talking to Aban? Yes, Mom. How is he doing? When is he coming? Next month. Really? This is a good thing. He will attend your marriage too. Did you tell him? I do not know, Mom. How should I tell him everything? What will he think about me? No, my dear. He will think nothing. Moyes, you should come out of all these worries now. How will you enjoy your wedding? Well, I was thinking, I should call Noreen, that she should do everything now. Okay. Yes, yes, Sister Kalida, I have said to Jahangir clearly. Whatever my daughter is happy about, I am happy about it. Moreover, couples are made in the heavens. Now if God had decided that instead of Golnur, Kamwal and Moise have to be together then, we are not at fault here. Yes, you are right. I will talk to you later. All right. Goodbye then. You came back. Yes. This was Kalida. They want to come to finalize the relationship between Carnwall and Moyes. Your lawyer gave me this file. Oh my god. Such a big thing happened so quickly. Now we are really the owners of everything. 
Now everything belongs to us only. Speak slowly. But why? Why should I speak slowly? Who are we afraid of? Now everything is ours. We are the thieves and the police here. I did not want to do all this. But you made me fear the greedy nature of Kalida and got Tokia's wealth in your name. And now with the same greedy Kalida you want to get your daughter married to her son. It seems to me I did a lot of things wrong. You did nothing wrong. We were already among the heirs of Brother Tokia. First, it was in words, but now it is in the form of papers for the people to see as a proof. You leave it. I will put these away safely somewhere. Golnur, listen. You are again sitting in the room. And I put these pictures in the store. You have put them back on the wall. Well, aunt, you took away the pictures because I used to cry when I saw them. I do not cry now. I took them out because I want to feel mom and dad in this house. What you want and what you do not want. Do not tell me. Ask me, what do I want? I want happiness in this house, celebrations, and lights in this house. Not these pictures of dead people, and your sad and sorrowful face. My daughter is getting married. A parade of happiness is coming in this house, and you want to fill this house with sorrow. Do not try to wake up the dead from their graves and make them alive in this house, no. This house belongs to alive and lively people who are happy with life. Do not try to turn it into a graveyard. Do you understand? Aunt, please, is this not my house now? Why this meaningless question? Are you not living in this house? I am now the decision maker of this house. Things will happen the way I want them. If you will listen to me, you will stay happy. And yes, remember this thing, the nameplate that I got installed outside, it is not a joke, understand. And if you want to really worship these dead people, and keep them in front of you, then keep these pictures inside your room only. I have no objection to it. Come to the kitchen, and help me there. Dad says that until you people live, here willingly then this is, your house as well, and, we belong to one family, then why this your and mine? Is it really so? Then alright, this is my room from today. I swear Gul, I like your room so much that, it seems as if it is a princess room. Yes, I am my parents princess, I will never give this room to anyone, 
I love my room. You know, these walls seem as if they will take me in their lap like mom. And that window. It seems as if dad is looking at me from there. I love my room. Dear, you should have called me if you had work. Did you? What is this in your hand? Sultani Mom. I cannot live upstairs now. Over there now. I am not even allowed to think about my parents. That house is not mine now. It is not my parents' house. I will now. Stay here. I will live with you. No, dear, no. There is a limit of doing clumsy stuff. I will not let you destroy your life like this. You, get up and come with me. Sultani mom, please. There is nothing for me there now. Even the memories of mom and dad have been taken away from me. Now I have given everything to those people. Now only my existence, my parents' memories, I have brought them oh you. So, please do not ask me to go back. But, dear. Sultani mom. At least, I can, live here on my own terms. I can cry here, and breathe here. I can remember my parents. When I cannot sleep. I can put my head in your lap and, I can sleep peacefully. Please, do not ask me to go back upstairs. My sweet daughter. May God destroy these people. No, Sultani mom, do not curse those people. This house is inhabited because of these people. I always want to see this house inhabited. Dear, you are really very nice. Really very nice. Are you telling the truth? Gul agreed so easily to go upstairs. Do not be so happy. She has gone upstairs. She has not gone up with her parents. What if that old woman make her explain and convince her to come downstairs? She comes back and makes me feel bitter for her. Mum, a few days are left until I get married. Please, let me live in my favorite room. Let me fulfill my old desire. You can fulfill all your desires, my dear. I am sure, she will not come downstairs now. She is very stubborn in some things. In the same way as her mother. I will make this room mine today. Then not only her, even if her parents return from the dead, they cannot have this room. My dear daughter. are we afraid of now? Everything belongs to us now. We are the thief. The police- I did not want to do all of this. But you made me. Fear the greedy nature of Kalida and- Got Tokia's wealth in your name. And now with that greedy Kalida's son. You are talking about getting your daughter married. What you want. Or do not want. Do not tell me. I want to see happiness. And celebrations and lights in this house. Not the pictures of these dead people, nor your face full of sorrow here. Do not try to wake up dead people from their grave, and settled in this house, Gul Nur. This house belongs to alive and lively, people, who are full of life. Aunt. 
Is this not my home now? I am the decision maker of this house now. Only those things will happen that I want. If you will listen to me, you will stay happy. Girl dear, you are here. Yes, uncle, everything okay? Nothing, dear. Nothing is fine. We shifted downstairs because you were alone. And we were worried for you. You came upstairs. Dear, if you have any resentment or are angry about anything, please say it. Do not live alone upstairs. Uncle, I came here by my choice. Over there the memories of my parents did not let me sleep. Now my life has changed so much. Walls and doors change will not make any difference. And I will shift back when I feel better. This is my house, is it not? Everything is yours, dear. We are also yours. Do you know, Komal? I am so happy today that I cannot even tell. It feels as if one by one God has removed all my complaints. Kanwal, sometimes it seems to me. God has written your and Gul's fate with the same pen. Whatever was in Gul's fate, one by one you are getting all those things. What is happening here? Dad, we were just... It is nothing. What do you mean by it? What are you two doing in Gull's room? We were just going to go upstairs now. You thought this room is empty and we should take it. Do not dare. I do not want to see anyone here except Gull. Dad, please. It is for a few days. Get up now. Go to your room. Gull can come here any minute. This is her house. Understand. Get up. Go to your room. We should go back. He cares for Gul so much and not for us. We were happy for no reason. In reality, everything is Gul's. Yes, everything belongs to Gul. Gul no. Gul no, come here. Yes, aunt. Where is Sultani mom? There is dust on everything. She is not well since the morning. Then you should set the breakfast table for your uncle. He has to go to the office. Aunt. Me. How? Why? You ought to learn household chores, like Komal and Kanwal. So that no one rejects you in the future, the way Moyes did. And listen. I need your help today. Moise's family is coming to finalize the proposal. I want everything to be done up to their level. Tokyo is not listening to me. He has this fear that. What if Noor goes to the kitchen and, God forbid, she gets burned or gets a cut? Now until she gets herself cut. How will she learn to cut vegetables? Sister, why are you saying such nasty things? I cannot even think that Gull even gets a scratch. She will learn it when the time comes. The egg is not only beaten, it is fried too. Will you keep beating it all your life? Come on, fry it. Ouch. 
What happened? Uncle, my hand got burned. Show me, dear. You got yourself burned. Why did you come into the kitchen? I said to her that I will make it. She said I will learn it. So, she started making it. Dear, did I not stop you? Dear, please be careful. These things are not for you to do. All these people are here to do it. Dad, in the start my hand also used to get burned. This is how Ghoul will learn to work. This is how it is learned. Dear, you will not come inside the kitchen now. I am telling you. Do not let her come inside the kitchen in the future. Do everything yourself. Come, dear. I will put ointment. Come, take out the ointment. Come, dear. Yes, he is very sympathetic. All my married life. His wife and daughters burned their hands in the kitchen. This person never even asked us. All my married life. I spent with a man who was double my age. I served him and his family all these years. But I got no reward for it. He always shows so much love for his niece. He is a hypocrite. She is a good for nothing daughter of a mother same as her. She has not only burned her hand but her life. And the same thing will happen with her.